Beautiful. So I wanted to share with you um, a passage from this book on the on the law of attraction, and it's "Excuse me, your life is waiting." Um, I'll send a link to it as well at the end of this module. It's a fantastic book, but I wanted to speak on the law of attraction um, from this paragraph. And she says, tuning forks and the law of attraction. Way back in the 30s, a couple of guys in the Orient were attempting to prove that thoughts were real things. And that different kinds of thoughts create different kinds of vibrations. So they decided to see if they could actually photograph vibrations of thought. And by golly, they did. Right through steel walls. An experiment that's been replicated many times since. But they also proved something else, perhaps even more important. They found the more emotion the thinker, sender, charged his thoughts with, the clearer the picture turns out to be. These fellows were possibly the first to prove that there is magnetic energy attached to our thoughts and that thought is propelled by our emotions. What they missed though, is that because the vibrational waves emotions we send out are magnetically charged we are literally walking magnets constantly pulling back into our world anything that just happens to be playing on the same frequency or wavelength for example when we're feeling up filled with joy and gratitude our emotions are sending out high frequency vibrations that will magnetize only good stuff back to us. Meaning anything with the same high vibratory frequency that matches what we're sending out. Like attracts like. And remember in module one, I mentioned that in Ayurveda, same thing with our bodies and our emotions. If we're feeling stressed or anxious or uptight or fuzzy, then we're going to attract more of that if we do fast paced and keep staying busy. So this stuff's really interesting. She then goes on to say, on the other hand, when we're experiencing anything that joy isn't, such as fear, worry, guilt, or even mild concern, these emotions are sending out low frequency vibrations. Since low frequencies are every bit as magnetic as high frequencies, they're going to attract only cruddy stuff back to us meaning anything of that same low frequency will cause us to feel and vibrate as lousy as what we're sending out. So shit going out, shit coming back. It is always a vibrational match. So whether it's high vibrational joy or low vibrational worry, what we're vibrationally offering in any moment is what we are attracting back. We are the initiators of our vibrations, therefore the magnets, the cause, like it or not, we have created and are creating it all. We may be flesh and blood, but first and foremost, we are energy, magnetic energy at that, which makes us living, breathing magnets. How cool is that? So with that, you now have the power to own up and go, you know what, I have created this being exactly as it is now. And when we own that, when we realize we are the product of our own thoughts and our belief patterns, the beauty is we can just simply change it. So let's get back to module two.